Let's have a look at IPv6 prefixes. You remember IPv4 we have subnet masks and they look like this 255.255.255.0 and that's just a representation of this binary number here and in a subnet mask everything to the left of the boundary is set to 1 and everything to the right of the boundary is set to 0 and what that means in terms of subnetting is that everything to the left is part of the network ID and everything to the right is part of the host ID. So we can take an IPv4 subnet mask and apply it to an IPv4 address and hence calculate what the network ID is. So this particular IP address with this particular subnet mask has a network ID of that, this number um, represents the network that this IP address sits on. You'll also remember that rather than keep saying 255.255.255.0 we use the slash notation so we say this is a slash 24 because it's easier. When we say slash 24 what we mean is the first 24 bits out of the 32-bit IP4 address are used to form the network mask, hence it's a slash 24. Now in IPv6 we only use the slash notation, so you'll see the slash notation used exclusively when it comes to IPv6. So here's an IPv6 um, address and we're told it's a slash 24. So if we want to uh, calculate what we call the network prefix, which in IPv4 would be the network ID, what we have to do is find where this this, this boundary is. What in IPv4 what we call the, the subnet boundary. So we're trying to count 64 bits from the left hand side. So you've got 16, 32, 48, 64. So there we know that this is where our boundary is. So that first 64 bits is part of the network prefix. And we know all the bits after that will be set to zero. So there we have our IPv6 prefix. And re remember the rules of these things, we can take out all these blocks of zeros and just replace them with colon colon. Now that was an easy example because slash 64 happens to fall on one of those boundaries where a colon is. Let's do a slightly more involved example, a slash 56, because this isn't quite as easy. A slash 56, there's 16 bits, there's 32 bits, there's 48 bits, and 56 bits is going to take us in the middle here. So everything to the right of this boundary, we have to put change to a zero. So there we have our IPv6 prefix for a slash 56. There's the boundary just there. Everything to the left of it is the routing prefix. Everything to the right of it is set to zero. And we can follow the same rules as before. We can change all this and take it out to colon colon. Be careful though to not fall into the trap of taking this 0, 0 and taking that out and because that's not a valid number because you remember we can only take out leading zeros so if you said that this was the network prefix what the router or the computer device that's interpreting this address would think is that actually what you meant is 0, 0, 1, 7 it'll just go and insert back in leading zeros so it's very careful uh, you need to be very careful not, not to make the mistake of confusing leading zeros with trailing zeros. This is quite a common error when it comes to IPv6 prefixes, so watch out for it.